In the news this week, opposing same-sex marriages on British, MPs are told. Christians prompt government caution over plans to monitor Sunday schools. And tributes are paid to Christian leader Mike Ovey, who has died at 58. Hello. Saying that marriage is only between one man and one woman goes against British values, the government's integration czar has claimed. Dame Louise Casey made the inflammatory remarks in front of MPs as they questioned her on a major report. She likened Roman Catholic schools' support for traditional marriage to the extremism exposed in Birmingham's Trojan Horse Affair. It's, it's not OK, the same way it's not OK for Catholic schools to be homophobic uh, and anti-gay marriage. That's not OK either. That's kind of not how we bring children up in this country. You can have your... You know, and it's often veiled as religious conservatism. And I have a problem with the expression of religious conservatism because I think often it can be anti-equalities. We've got to be careful that people can choose, obviously, to live the lives they want to live, but they can't condemn others for living differently. However, current Department for Education advice on the Equality Act states that no school or individual teacher is under a duty to support, promote or endorse marriage of same-sex couples. An outcry by Christians over plans to register and inspect Sunday schools is forcing the government to tread carefully over the matter. In a debate this week, Government Minister Lord Nash revealed that 18,000 people had responded to a consultation on out-of-school settings plans. Over the last year, the Institute and other Christian charities have raised awareness about the proposals and urged supporters to respond to the consultation. The Institute's Simon Calvert said he was thankful for those who had spoken out and urged them to keep up the pressure on MPs. The fact that 18,000 people responded to the government's consultation on out-of-school settings is really encouraging. That's a massive number for any government consultation. And the Minister's answer in the Lords this week shows that at least Ministers are familiar with some of the arguments that Christians have been putting against their plans for out-of-school settings. Giving Ofsted a say in what's taught in churches, I mean, you only have to say that to know that that's a profoundly offensive idea. And Christians have frankly lost all faith in Ofsted over the way that they've been treating Christian schools. And also, why in the world would you target church youth group as part of any counter-terrorism strategy. I mean, none of the seven seven bombers were radicalised in Sunday school. It's a dangerous distraction for the counter-terrorism service to be looking at what's going on in Sunday schools. Um, so uh, Christians who are concerned about this, we just encourage them to, to keep up the pressure on their MPs. To find out more about the government's plans, visit our Out of Schools settings page. Legalising assisted suicide would be highly dangerous and play into fears about disability, appears has warned. Baroness Campbell of Surbiton made the comments as a High Court case is launched to change the law. The Baroness, who has a degenerative genetic disease and uses a wheelchair, explained that disability is already viewed extremely negatively in Britain. If the law were changed, it would feed into society's fear that to be severely disabled, to be trapped within your body, which I really practically am, is a state worse than death. It would be a huge burden to us. We already have to fight for the right to live. Please, don't help us for the right to die. Noel Conway, who is 67 years old and has motor neuron disease, claims the current law is not compatible with his basic human rights. It is the first High Court case since a bill to legalise assisted suicide was soundly defeated in the House of Commons in 2015. And finally, tributes have been paid to Reverend Dr Mike Ovey, head of Oak Hill Theological College, who has died unexpectedly at the age of 58. Mike Ovey was married to Heather and father of three children. He was born in 1958 and went on to be a parliamentary draftsman. Later he worked with the Christian Institute on free speech issues for many years. The Institute's director, Colin Hart, described Dr. Ovi as a faithful and courageous Christian who helped thousands of believers. He was a tremendous blessing. Current and former students also thanked God for him, telling the Institute that he taught with clarity, conviction and passion and had superb gifts of teaching. Following his death, Oak Hill said that the promise in Jesus of eternal life reminds us that for Mike, death is not an end, but a glorious beginning. Well, that's all for this week. For regular updates and information on all of our stories, plus much more, visit our website at christian.org.uk. Until next time, 
Goodbye.